Hey guys, welcome to the first day of Vlogmas. It is officially December 1st. I'm so excited, but I'm also like still kind of shocked that it's December. I know people always say that, like especially when it gets to the end of the year, it's like the year flew by so fast, like what's happening? But I truly am like so shocked that it's already December, that we're almost going into 2024. I don't know, it just seems like insane. Also, like now that it's officially December today, I'm like so much has happened in my life in a year. And it's crazy to look at like what was going on or what my life was like a year ago it is so interesting but anyway happy vlogmas i'm so happy to be back if you guys don't know or you're new here every year i do vlogmas so i'll vlog every single day of december but i like to combine a couple days so i'm gonna probably combine like three or four days into one video. You'll still see every single day. They'll just be combined vlogs instead of uploading every single day like I used to do. Also, I got my brows done yesterday, so if they look super dark and super big, it's because I just got them tinted and I got them laminated, so I can't touch them. They have to stay super full and I can't like wash the tint out yet, so I've got some very dark brows. I also went yesterday and got tooth gems, so if you're wondering what's in my tooth, I got a little tooth gem. I actually really like them. I've never got a color, but I got a pink little heart right here, and it's actually super cute, but I'm just not used to it. Like, every time I see myself, I'm like, wait, what is that? But it's super cute. Also, someone asked me, they were like, did you go back to the dentist? Uh, no, I actually didn't go back to the dentist, but did I get tooth gems? Absolutely. Anyway, Brandon and I are about to go grocery shopping. We are like fully out of groceries. We haven't gone in a minute And so I want to get some stuff to make like soups and a couple meals. I'm actually going home next weekend I'm gonna go to Texas for some family photos and our sibling gift exchange But we're just gonna do a little bit of grocery shopping before I leave. I really want to make some soups I saved some recipes So I'll be sharing a lot of cooking in these vlogs because I've been super into trying new recipes and just like Sharing my cooking with you guys. I'm sure you guys can tell from my past couple of vlogs But I've been looking up so many different recipes on Pinterest. So I'm excited to make just like simple, easy winter meals. But anyway, happy Vlogmas. It's Friday. Let's go to the grocery store. We're back from the grocery store. We have so much food. One thing about us though is we got a lot of drinks. <laughs> like every time I come home, I'm like, why do we have so many different drinks? I've got all of these. I just got all these Alani Nutrition drinks. They sent me these. This is the cherry slush flavor. I was kind of nervous to try this and actually you guys, it's fire. We've got lemonade, more oat milk. I've got a million different kinds of poppy flavors over here. I've got more Alani Nutrition. I've got my Yerbas. I also have a full case now of vanilla Coke. We're never gonna be unstocked on drinks. That's that's a fact but now it's the weekend and if you're new here brandon and i love to make our weekend like a sleepover almost where we put out the air mattress so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna get my air mattress i'll link it down below in this video but i'm gonna get my air mattress and blow it up i put it right here in the living room and we just like cuddle up on it and watch tv he plugs his uh, gaming system. What is it? An Xbox? You have an Xbox? Plugs his Xbox in to this TV and he plays his video games and I sit and read. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, like, I know my rug is the crustiest thing ever. It's like actually embarrassing for me to show it on camera. I hate showing my living room because this rug is horrible. I don't know what ever compelled me to get a white rug, but I've never replaced it because we're gonna move from this spot. And my goal is to find somewhere, like wherever we move to, I want a much bigger living room. And so I'm like, I'm not gonna replace this rug when I'm gonna move and I'm gonna need a bigger rug. Rugs are expensive and like for no reason. So anyway, that's why I have this crusty dusty rug. Our beautiful air mattress. I just put the sheets on it, got our little duvet, my heating pad. Of course, I sleep with the heating pad every single night. That's my favorite thing on earth. So I've got a little heating pad, our big pillows, 
and now it's cozy for tonight in our sleepover. our dinner I hate looking at my brows right now like I need them to <laughs> I need them to fade a little bit anyway I just remembered I have an advent calendar I bought this on Sephora it's the Veluspa advent calendar and it's just candles and it's 12 days and I was like I just want to see which ones I get so I wanted to do first 12 days of vlogmas I'll open up the candle on each one it's kind of annoying though because you guys can't smell it but I'm excited. Ooh, like look how this opens up. This is so cute. Look how tiny. Oh, that smells good. This is like very citrusy. The notes on this are sparkling wine, pomelo, woody oak, and rose petals. I love little mini candles like this because I love to like have them in my bathroom and stuff like that. I don't know, I just feel like they smell so nice. I'm gonna leave them in the calendar because I don't know where I'm putting them right now. That was day one. That's all I had for today. I'm excited to open the rest of them because I love Veluspa candles and they smell so nice. Now I'm watching my like 14th episode of murder shows, true crime shows, and I'm drinking out of this cute little custom poppy thing. Poppy sent me this in PR and it is a like insulated can. So it has a straw on it. You fill it up with whatever drink, obviously poppy, um, but I have vanilla Coke in here, sorry. It has a little straw and I'm a messy person. So I'm considering this like my sippy cup. That soup is really good, babe. You liked it? Yeah. Will you put the rest in that, in those containers? Okay, I hope I was in focus that whole time, but I actually don't think that I was. But I'm gonna go to sleep now and I will see you guys tomorrow, bye. Good morning everyone, welcome to day two of Vlogmas. It's Saturday, I look absolutely insane and I am so excited to do my makeup. I haven't done my makeup for like three days now because I've been letting my brows soak in this insane lamination but they always look so much better whenever I put makeup on so I'm finally gonna do my makeup this morning. Today I'm gonna go Christmas shopping. I have a couple gift exchanges that I have next weekend and I really need to get everything for them like today or at least I need to like get some ideas of what I can order today because I'm a little bit on the struggle bus. So I figured I would do my makeup this morning, get dressed and go shopping. I just really need to go shopping today or at least get some sort of idea. Destiny is gonna come with me but she is gonna literally sleep in until probably probably 1 30 so I am leaving her because I would like to do my shopping like I just like to start the day earlier I don't want to come home at like 7 p.m. from shopping all day I want to come home at least by like 5 and then like make dinner and watch a movie or read a book these are the drunk elephant bright drops I have so many breakouts this house labs foundation is so bomb I've got two shades right here I've got a 42 and then I've got C 72 i think i'm c72 right now this foundation is so glowy and it's got such nice coverage i really love this house labs foundation i've had it for a while but i like wasn't using it i don't know why i think it's just because i'm used to using the same products all the time also i'm telling you applying my foundation with makeup brushes this one is the same beauty i think it's called the base brush this has literally changed change the way I feel like my makeup looks. I just feel like it looks smoother, it blends better. I literally haven't got dressed for like four days now and I'm so excited to look presentable. Also, I don't know how I feel about this tooth gem and I feel like all the comments are gonna be like, oh my god, I hate it. I'm not used to it either because I feel like when it when I talk, it almost looks like I'm missing a tooth. Like it, oh, it looks like, oh my God, is she have, is she missing a tooth there? Like in photos, I feel like it's gonna look like I'm missing a tooth, which is really like not the goal. So I'm going to put on a podcast, finish the rest of my makeup, and then we'll pick it off it. Hi guys, I'm back from shopping. So I went to the Grove. I was gonna do a lot more shopping today, but I am in so much pain. I'll explain that in a minute. But I'm in so much pain and I was like, I just want to go home. Like I don't want to, I don't want to go anywhere else. Like 
whatever. But I want to give you guys a haul of what I bought. Um, these are actually Christmas presents, so I'm just gonna pray that if I got you a Christmas present, you're not watching this video. Most of what I got is from Sephora, so next weekend I actually have a gift exchange, which I've said before, and we're doing the gift exchange where we each pick like one of our favorite items, and we buy three of them, so it's gonna be me, Brooke, Alethea, and Nat. There's all four of us. So because there's three people that I have to get gifts for, so like I'll pick one item and buy three of them. You guys know what I'm talking about. So you pick your favorite items. I picked out these little blushes. So these are the Patrick Tall blushes. I am obsessed with them. So I picked different shades for each person. They can trade them if they want to trade them. But I was like, I don't know. I just like love these blushes and I think they're so cute. And they're like amazing formula and so nice. So I got each of them a blush and then I felt really weird just getting like, here's your blush, Merry Christmas. Even though that's the point because we'll all each leave with three gifts. Um, I bought Summer Friday's lip balms. I love these so much. I think they're so good. So I bought the mint, the vanilla, and then the beige. And I don't know, I just thought it was so cute all together. Just like three and three. So those are the things that I got for the gift exchange. For myself, I picked this up. This is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. Um, lately, randomly, I've been having back knee. I haven't had back knee since I was like in middle school, okay? And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I don't know what it is, maybe, I don't, I don't know, I need to figure that out. But I have back knee lately and it's really stressing me out, but I saw someone say that they use this toning solution and but they put it on a little cotton round and then they like rub it on their back and it helps get rid of their acne so it's like whatever I'm gonna buy it and see and then I bought two things for myself I bought the drunk elephant bronzing drops because I'm out of mine and then I bought this little puff I wanted to use this for my makeup when I go and set my face with powder here we go like this when I do my little under eye I don't know, I just like have been wanting one of these. Oh my God, I just spit everywhere. I've been wanting one of those, so that's what I got. And then I went to Barnes and Noble. I just like to walk around Barnes and Noble. I wasn't even going any, like for anything specific, but I found these little mini baggies in Barnes and Noble, and I was like, these are perfect for my gift exchange. Look at this. You just put a little blush and a little lip in there. I've got tissue paper. I'll put a little tissue paper. Boom, done. So I got those little bags at Barnes & Noble. And then I saw this book there. It's a collector's version of The Song of Achilles, which I've always wanted to read this book. It's been on my to be read list for a while, but I just love the way this version looks. It's like a collector's edition. And I don't know, it just looks so cute. And you know, I'm not a hardback gal, but I just feel like this looks like nice. You know what I mean? Like it just looks fancy. So I bought it while I was there. I also have a bunch of PR, so I figured why not open up some PR with you guys and go through it. I just realized I said I have a bunch of PR. I actually got two boxes and one of them I ordered. So I ordered, I ordered Tony Bianco heels. I really wanted some cute black heels and I love Tony Bianco. I love everything that they make. I thought these were so chic and fun. I actually have pointed toe black heels but they have um like a bunch of silver detailing and like a bow on them and every time I wear them they really hurt my feet and so I was like I think I just really want plain black heels so I got these and I think they're so fun like these with just some like baggy jeans or something like that these are such a look and they come in other colors they come in like a baby pink and I was like I really feel like I need the baby pink so that's that those are my heels this could be poppy but we're about to find out. Yep, it's Poppy. Oh my God, we have so much Poppy already. <laughs> they just sent us so much more, but we love Poppy in this house. Okay, this package is from For Love and Lemons. Uh, they had me pick out some clothes because I'm going to an event with them next week. And I'm so excited. I actually picked out three dresses and I think they're just gonna, or they picked whatever's in stock. Ooh! So this is like the first time I'm seeing what I got. <gasps> Oh my god, they sent me two dresses? I thought they were like, I sent me more. <laughs> oh my god. I am so excited. It's a masquerade party. <gasps> I love the Love and Lemons so much. This first dress, I feel like this looks so much cuter on than like holding it up. But it's this sequin little mini dress. And it's fully sequined. And it's got pink little roses on it. And it's so cute. I was thinking this with like black tights or something. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. This was my first choice though. You guys are gonna love this one, I think. Look at this little dress. 
it's they look so much cuter when you put them on i feel like, like you can't tell but it's a black mini dress it's like velvet this with tights underneath it and some little heels oh my god i'm so excited now to explain to you guys why i'm in so much pain so yesterday i was having so much pain in the top of my neck so like right here i would say right at the top of my neck like the top of my spine almost and then a little bit into my shoulders is extremely painful it feels very hot like it feels like it's like scorching so I, my muscles are like inflamed or something and it's genuinely i'm convinced it's because of my posture the way that i sit and the way that i read and the way that i edit on my laptop like when i'm editing i'm literally like this like i'm fully hunched over <laughs> me reenacting it for you i'm fully hunched over when i'm reading i'm fully like this and it hurts my like spine to the point where i have a huge knot it feels like a ball on the top of my neck this whole time today like walking around i was like i i can't do this like i literally can't do this because i'm in so much pain you guys and so i don't know what to do because i literally have been walking around all day like this like literally my head and my neck like I'm, i've been like like i'm trying to be a robot because it hurts so bad um i am gonna buy a posture corrector <laughs> to maybe help me out with my posture i ordered a kindle stand it's gonna come in the mail tomorrow but it's like this little like thing that you can clamp on to your like nightstand or like table or something like that and then it like has the kindle in front of you so i can lay down in my bed <laughs> It sounds insane, but it's like I love reading so much But like genuinely I'm in so much pain today that I'm like I cannot even physically open a book because it's gonna hurt me so bad to look down and read I can only read if I'm like literally like this so I bought a little stand and it's on Amazon It comes in tomorrow and we're gonna see if it works and I can like use it or whatever, but it's definitely interesting We're gonna see how that works tomorrow. It's called a Dow dowager's hump I've never heard of that before, but apparently that's what I'm developing. So when I'm super old, it's like literally scorching right now It, it feels so painful, but when I'm old, I'm gonna be like having one of those huge hunches because I like can't correct my posture you guys so anyway i'm annoyed about that but i am going to reheat the soup that i made last night i'm gonna eat that for lunch and then i'm gonna clean up around the house our house is a disaster and yeah i'm just gonna clean up and that's pretty much it hi guys it's sunday it's december 3rd and i am in the most <laughs> I'm in the most foul mood and I'm so sorry because I'm just in a bad mood one because like I'm in a bad mood for a bunch of reasons but also I'm so bummed that these are the first couple days of vlogmas typically when I'm in such um, a bad mood or I'm not feeling well I just like wouldn't vlog but obviously I'm vlogging every day of December so you guys are just gonna have to see this it's Sunday and this morning Brandon and I drove to a chiropractor place that I looked up yesterday on google the hour said open from 10 to 5 on sunday i clicked another location and it said close on sundays and so i found a location that was open on sundays 10 to 5 that's what it said we pull up and it's close and i'm like oh my god i was having like pretty much a full panic attack this morning having to go to the chiropractor because i know i already said this but i'm like really really scared of the chiropractor like i am very nervous about it but i feel like it will actually bring me relief to go um i feel like there's like a lot of people who are like anti-chiropractor or who go and they absolutely love and they literally go like every week i've never been but i at least just want to try it but it actually does bring me so much anxiety but i'm to the point that i'm in so much pain and i'm so uncomfortable that i'm like i will try literally anything so i went this morning and it was closed and i was like all right i'm so upset about this but i'm just gonna like go back home and like do what i can so i am also having my time of the month in like two days and so i've just been like super irritable and my acne has gotten so bad i have family photos next weekend and i have the biggest pimple that i've ever had on the bottom part of my lip i've never even had a pimple here and i have a pimple patch over it. it's like on my lip and so i was like keaton you need to do something that's gonna like get you up and like 
I don't know, just like put me in a better mood. So I just took a shower and then I self tanned my whole body. Typically, whenever I'm like in a bad mood, I will like self tan, I'll do a face mask, I'll do my skincare, I'll do all my stuff. So I just showered and I use Loving Tan. I don't have it in here because I just left it in the other room, but I use Loving Tan Platinum and it's super even and really pretty. You guys can see I like didn't self tan my hands or anything, but so I'm gonna let that develop. And Sundays are my reset days. So on Sundays, I typically like to clean the whole apartment. I will like scrub all the toilets, I wipe all the countertops down, I clean the kitchen, I do the dishes, the laundry, I do everything on Sundays. I'm getting a much later start to my day. It's like almost one o'clock, but it's because I was so irritated this morning. I woke up at six this morning, like I do every morning, but stayed in bed, read until like nine and then me and Brandon went to the chiropractor came back made lunch and that was pretty much it anyway I'm about to try out this I got this that's for the other day the ordinary glycolic acid this is supposed to help with my acne so I'm putting it on this little reusable cotton round right here and I'm actually gonna do it on my face because I'm having so many breakouts I don't know like how much I'm supposed to use of this but I'm gonna use like generous amount because I'm like please go away and then I can't show this on camera because then I would have to be naked but I am gonna put it on my back I told you guys I bought this because randomly I've been having back knee and it's super frustrating I feel like typically if I start to get like back knee or something like that maybe it's a product that I'm using but I cannot figure out what it is that is causing this like it's so weird so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna put more on this cotton round and then like do my back and stuff like that and hopefully that helps after that we're gonna do a little reset today and i'm gonna scrub everywhere in this apartment i think that that's gonna make me feel better i honestly like i can't really sit down on my couch and just like be in a sitting position i need to be like up and moving so i'm gonna get up i'm gonna clean i'm just updating you guys because it's the third and it's sunday and that's what's going on just scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed oh my god my tan looks so weird because i don't tan my face my arms look so dark and i don't have my hands done either okay whatever but i just scrubbed my whole apartment and now i'm gonna do my advent calendars i forgot to open yesterday so i'm gonna open yesterday's and today's and also i forgot i have this huge ysl beauty one they sent me this and i'm so excited about it so i'm gonna open these too also my little countdown until christmas i moved it over and <laughs> I just love that. It's like the little things that make me so excited. Okay, anyway, um, day two. Ooh, this one smells good. This one's a lychee. This one, the one that I got on day one, smells more like citrusy. This one smells fruity. Like, I don't even know how to describe that. It's like sweeter. All right, now we're gonna do day three. I love the color of this. Oh, that one smells really nice. I love these little candles. Maybe I should light one of these today. Look at these. I mean, honestly, I think this advent calendar was like $75, something like that. And I feel like the loose candles, like they're so expensive. So to get 12 of them for that price, I think that's really nice. Even though they're like these little tiny ones, they're still really nice. Like you light them in your bathroom and have them all around. Oh my God, I'm, I almost just opened day four because I'm so excited. I want to know which one I got. Okay. These are my three so far. Next up, we have YSL. We're gonna open days one, two, and three. Look how pretty this packaging is. Day one. Ooh, it looks like a lipstick. What shade is this? It's like a very teeny tiny lipstick. This is actually a pretty shade. Normally, they give you like the wonkiest shades in the advent calendar. Like it's like a shade that no one wants. This is actually really, really pretty. That is so cute. I'm gonna keep them in the boxes because I don't want to lose them. So that was day one. Day two is a little bit bigger. It's a waterproof eyeliner. It's a little mini eyeliner. These are good. 
These are actually like good so far. Like they're all minis, but like it's not like mini crap, you know? I also love YSL like beauty products. So I'm just excited about all of this. All right, what is this? Shut up. It's a mini black opium. Oh, I love this fragrance. Wait, I'm so happy about this because you guys know I love mini everything. Shut up. Like the little, <laughs> the size of this, like, can you guys see this in my hand? Oh my God, my spray tan or my self tanner looks so crazy. I mean, this is the cutest thing I've quite literally ever seen. The candle in this. I love little minis like this because these, if you throw them in your purse, that way when you're out, you can like reapply. It's like a rollerball, but it's an actual mini spray. These are actually really good. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to open these throughout Vlogmas. That way we've got some good stuff going on. Good morning, you guys. I made pancakes per Brandon's request. I have chocolate chip, oh, thank you. I have chocolate chip pancakes, cause that's what I love. Brandon's got some regular pancakes over there. We've got our syrup, and I made them on our Christmas plates. You can't see, wait, let me show you guys. Look at our Christmas plates, they're so cute. It is officially time to go to the chiropractor. I'm so nervous, but I'm feeling a little bit better because I decided a little bit ago, obviously I am having bad neck pain, so this is gonna maybe sound silly when I say this, but I don't think I'm at the point where I'm comfortable enough, like my anxiety is not comfortable enough to let them crack my neck. I think overall I need to have like my back cracked and like aligned, but I don't think I'm comfortable with having them crack my neck. I just feel really weird about it. I don't like it. And I'm trying to overcome my chiropractor anxiety in general. So like even going to the chiropractor is a good first step for me to getting over this anxiety, but I don't think I'm fully ready. Brandon is coming with me for moral support. I was just explaining to them how I'm not getting my neck cracked. No. <laughs> I was wondering Why? who you were talking to, and I knew you were saying that. Why? I honestly. That's like babe, going like, to the doctor and telling them what you're gonna do and not gonna do to make yourself feel better. No, but like I, what I'm don't saying. Don't let these people talk to you crazy. I don't even know who you talk to that told you that. No, no, it's not. It's not anything. Cause like I've been trying to not look anything up because I don't want to be like I don't want to read anything negative. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to read anything bad because I feel like anytime you do anything like people are like oh like don't do that it's this and like I know a lot of people who go to the chiropractor and they love it and like my mom for a long time Sean goes all the time like shit what are they doing watch out babe we're not sure we're don't not, go near them not I'm not going near them I'm going right here they are um, just they're just swerving they, they probably they're... just robbed somebody <laughs> driving off like that what? probably just broke into somebody's car and they're driving in the middle of the road like they stole some <laughs> Okay, anyway, what I was saying was, if it's causing me such anxiety to the point where like I was like crying last night and I was not feeling well about it, I think it's okay if for my first time, it's my first time ever going to the chiropractor, I don't need to like go and let them like crack my freaking neck in half. Like, See, that's, you're that's, saying, what I you're saying like is that. not right. They're not cracking like, your neck they in are. half. I watched it's an the videos. It's not cracking your neck in half. <laughs> road to recovery. Do I look bad when I do this? I think you look cute. No. Cute as hell. <laughs> like my neck. But I'm biased. Okay, first chiropractic experience. She's a little bit emotional. Talk talk us through it. What, what are you feeling? Okay, I'm only crying because I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry inside the chiropractor, but then I composed myself and I held it in so then now that we're out 
I just, I'm crying, you know? Was it what you expected? Was it better? Was it worse? What did you think about um, it actually? Okay. It, now that it's not just something it, you've thought about, you've actually experienced it. It was definitely a lot quicker. Like, it was very, it was very quick. But I... I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I, don't I know, know you were specifically nervous about the I neck was, popping. I was really what, nervous what, about the neck. Like I was really nervous. Was and it as ne was it as nerve wracking going through it? Like now that you've done it, like was it as worse as you thought it was going to be? Honestly, like he did it so quick, I didn't have enough time to think about to be scared enough to do it. It doesn't hurt me. It didn't hurt me when he did my neck. It was just like I felt like scared that he was doing that you know yeah and then how Brandon do you feel after saw, Brandon said he saw me and I looked like I was crying I looked like I was crying she was getting ready to get emotional because she was very nervous but she was very brave and she went through it all on her own I was there but she did it all on her own he was like I was like do you <laughs> I was like do you have to crack my neck or can you just crack my back can you just crack my back and fix it that way? He was like, And he no. said what I said, didn't he? He said, no, I have to crack your your neck or else why are you here? Exactly. <laughs> why I, are you here? That's when I started crying. Right when he said that, I like started panicking because I was like, oh my God, like, he does have to crack my neck. And like, can I be honest? That's why I was giggling earlier because I was like, you're not going to go into a chiropractor and tell him. Okay, well, I just wanted like, I don't know. I just wanted him to not crack my neck. Well, I'm Basically, proud of you for being brave and at least giving it a try. Well, he didn't give me an option, so that's when I started panicking and I was like, okay, I'm going to start crying immediately because he's not giving me an option and it's not good. But then it was okay. He did it really quick. I don't feel like a cra- like, I'm not like, oh my god, like, my neck. Like, I don't feel like immediate relief. Like, maybe there is, I do feel like maybe there is some pressure off of it but it's still painful i'm home now and i'm back from the chiropractors um obviously you saw how it went a couple of my thoughts i am feeling a little bit better now and i have to drive an hour and a half over to grace's house right now and we're gonna do a little twin flame shoot so i just packed up all of my stuff in my bags and I've got like a lot of twin flames clothes and stuff. We're doing mystery boxes this year So I'm really excited. We're gonna have different tiers and you guys can get different items in each mystery box for twin flames So we're gonna shoot some content for that and it's also twin flames four year anniversary on Wednesday I believe and so we're gonna take photos for that and I don't know. I'm just really excited So I'm dressed. I did all of my makeup and I think I'm gonna treat myself to Starbucks on the way over there because Obviously I had a little bit of a mental breakdown today so I'm gonna treat myself and I have a Starbucks gift card so I'm like why not let's get going we're shooting I'm at Grace's home this is our beautiful birthday cake for twin flames twin flames turns four period Grace is shooting all of our content also Max is here let's show you Max Maxi hello Max hello muffin <laughs> yeah so we have our mood boards and we have our little cake and we also have this cupcake and it's got the little number four and we're shooting on my film camera taking some pics i'll set you guys up so you can see how exciting and riveting this is <laughs> wait where have i sat on the floor no like you know how like some of the photos i felt like you can go in the corner okay so should we do the cupcake first yeah yeah do you want to put those on the floor yeah i do i'm home we're making crunch wraps this is mine that see that's what i meant that's good it's time to go to bed i'm doing my skincare tonight i do my skincare every night i just meant like i'm doing my skincare right now i'm so done with today i just put this skin fix barrier activating serum on and now i'm using a little eye cream today was a long day i mean this morning i was like emotionally distressed okay one thing i'm gonna say about this chiropractor thing um, I didn't know you would be sore after you go to the chiropractor and I am so sore you guys like I feel like I've been hit by a truck like I know it like releases the toxins in your body and it like does all this stuff but oh my god like my shoulders right here are so sore it feels so weird 
I don't know. I'm not into it. Um, I'm glad that I went just for the fact of like, I feel like I like I conquered a bit of my anxiety that I have. I know like some people would be like, you don't even like, you don't even need to go to a chiropractor, like go to physical therapy. And I think I am going to go to physical therapy. I think that's going to be what I do instead of going back to the chiropractor. But I also just like, I've had this fear of the chiropractor for such a long time. And this was an opportunity where like I'm in so much pain that I was like, you know what, this would be a, a time where I would actually want to try it and see what happens. And also an opportunity to get out of my comfort zone or like face something that I feel like I've really struggled with. And obviously I did cry afterwards. I think I just cried because that's like, you know, when you like work something up so much, you have so much stress and like, I don't know, it just like needed to come out of me. I just needed to cry when I left. So that's what I did. I don't know, it's just like an interesting mix of emotions. I'm also like literally about to start my so like I think I'm just unwell recently. But yeah, that was um that was a lot this morning. And then I went to Grace's. I was there for quite a while. I had a two hour drive back home. So like I literally listened to Ariana Grande and I screamed the entire way home, like scream singing. Like I just was like the best drive. I love long drives like that where I can just like listen to music. It was so much fun. And now I'm gonna go to bed, but I want to show you guys before I end this vlog what Brandon set up for me. Brandon knows I really want to read. And so he set up this little thing that I ordered on Amazon. I could not figure out how to do it from our nightstand. It wasn't working and he set it up for me and put my Kindle here and turned my heating pad on. And so now I'm gonna lay on this neck pillow. I'll link these things, they're all from Amazon. This is a neck pillow, I actually got this like two years ago. I think I already said this, but I got this like two years ago. And it's really, really good. It's like a memory foam pillow and it fits perfectly for neck support. So when you're sleeping, I don't know, I just feel like it really helps. And then this little like stand, the only thing I'll say about this is this thing is so much harder to twist than it looks like on Amazon. Like I had to have Brandon do it because it's so stiff, which is good because you want this to be stable, but it is so hard to move. So just a warning, I did not know that on the website. Anyway, um, that's everything I did today. That's the first couple days of Vlogmas. I think I'm gonna end it here and pick back up tomorrow. I didn't do the advent calendars today because I forgot. So in the next vlog that you see, I'm gonna do day four and five and six and however many days I combine in that one. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy Vlogmas and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.